Welcome back. We hope you're ready, folks. The Jacksonville Armada's fall season opener is just a little over a week away, and here to tell us about that and some big changes that were recently announced yesterday is Morgan Purvis. Morgan, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, Curtis. It was a big day yesterday. It was great. It was a wonderful day. Yeah, for those who weren't watching our show and didn't have them check social media recently, tell, tell me what happened. So Robert Palmer was officially announced as the owner of the Jacksonville Armada FC, the new owner. Uh, we've been owned by the NASL since early 2017. So now that um, Robert Palmer's taken over, we're expecting great yeah. things for the Armada in Jacksonville. Yeah, a lot of people didn't understand that uh, the, the previous owner had, had uh, basically sold the team back to the NASL, and the NASL yeah. was running it mm -hmm. and looking for an owner, and, and there was a lot of uncertainty. So they had a, yourself, and your, your office got a little empty over there for a few months. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, it's been a little quieter in the office. Yeah. yeah. So, and, but the, the importance of having a local owner by the team is stability for the, the franchise, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, with Robert Palmer taking over, it not off, not only offers stability for the Armada, but also the NASL. You get a chance to, to talk with him yet? Maybe or is he, he running all bit, over the place? A little bit, a little bit. He's got a lot going on. He's got several companies around, um, RP Funding being one of the biggest. Yeah. But he, he'll he spend a little bit of time with us moving forward. And I, I know there was other, two other big things happened yesterday. He mm -hmm. locked up uh, our head coach, Lowry. Yes, our head coach, Mark Lowry. Um, he's done wonderful things this past season. And also uh, Nathan Walter, our technical director. All right. He put them underneath contracts until 2021. So. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, because that's important because you got to have stability in the, in the, at the, the soccer, for the soccer level mm -hmm. to get the young guys uh, trained. So as far as his work this year, we finished uh, our best our yeah. best finish yet, right? Yeah, this has been their best season yet. Um, we've had the most wins out of any season since becoming a team. Um, we have only had one loss at home. And then overall, we finished in fourth place in the spring season. Although we didn't win the spring season, that puts us in a great place overall. Tied for third, I like to say. Yeah, We're tied, tied for, third. for third with the Cosmos, <laughs> who won the league last year. And right there, I think you've seen some highlights from, uh, from Hodges Stadium, where the games are at, at UNF. Yes. And they're, <laughs> he's a nut. <laughs> That's Zach Steinberg. Zach Steinberg, he's the leading goal scorer. Um, he always has really uh, interesting dances. He thinks he's a good dancer, but some of them are good. Um, but no, so Hodges Stadium, UNF, uh, it's a great place. I'm glad you guys are out there. It was at the baseball grounds for a while, which is a weird kind of setup. But Hodges Stadium uh, and I actually uh, just started working for the Armada recently, which is fun. I'm yeah. the on-field host. So it's a good environment. But um, season tickets, you guys are, are pushing those right now, right? Yeah, we have our fall season tickets. That's, it starts at 120. Um, you can get tickets to all eight home games starting. So our first game is July 30th that's at right. Hodges Stadium. Yeah. So you'll get tickets to that and the other seven. And that's what's crazy is we just finished the spring season mm -hmm. literally a week or so ago. Yeah. And the reason that you're here without uh, one of the players is because this is the long break <laughs> the players get between yeah. the seasons right yeah it's it, they have about four days off and then they start training again but they're they're taking their sweet time you know sleeping yeah. eating i'm sure they yeah. need it they just finished the uh, you know the spring season so yeah. uh they're on break but the first game it starts right back up july 30th um and i know the the two games i, I did the last two games of the season um different themes a lot uh during each game do you have any what are the fun ones coming up well, our one on July 30th, we're actually celebrating the Jacksonville Armada Youth Academy. Okay. So we'll have some special events with all the younger players out there. Getting the mini the games? Stuff. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the mini games are great. Yeah. You got to check these out. It's basically, you guys pick how old are the kids usually? Um, it can range anywhere, you know, from 6 to 12. Yeah, yeah. the 6-year-olds are the best. When they're running around, it's just like a moth to a flame. They all... <laughs> they all go after the ball, but um, so that's that's the half times. But uh, Armada's here to stay. This mm -hmm. is exciting. Robert Palmer, new owner. We're excited um, to have him here. We're excited to see what he's going to do for our team. This is good stuff. Yeah, we're excited. Thanks, Morgan. And we'll yeah, have more with the Armada uh, from time to time as well. All right. All right. Thanks for being on. I'd like to thank Jacksonville Armada for FC for making this segment possible. And the fall season opener starts on July 30th. Get your tickets by visiting armadafc.com or calling 8442 Armada.